In this video, I show you seven free and cheap camping locations. Let's get to it. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. Hi folks, I'm Lou from Living Our Dream Now. If you follow our YouTube channel, you know Melody and I love free and affordable RV camping. What you're looking at on your screen is our personal camping map. And in 2023, we added seven free and cheap camping locations to our camping map. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about how we came to do that at the end of the video. But right now, I'm going to jump right into it. And I'm going, to I'm going to show you these seven free and cheap camping locations that we added to our camping map in 2023. Throughout the video, I'll be using Google Earth. That's what you're looking at on your screen. And the first uh, stop that we're going to make is in northwest Florida. It's at a county park, so let's fly there now. This park uh, has electric and uh, water hookups. Uh, look at the location of this park. It's right on the water. And uh, I'm going to jump to my camping map in a, in a few minutes and show you why I added this to my camping map. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to jump over to Compendium and show you uh, how I go through some of the screening process and why this particular camping location uh, made the cut to be added to the camping map. So let's jump to Compendium right now. So I'm now at the Compendium uh, website. I use this as a tool. Uh, the seven camping locations, uh, free and cheap camping locations I'm showing you today in this video, did not discover them on Campendium, but I do use Campendium as one of my screening tools. And again, I'll, t I'll talk to you about um, how I came to uh, add these seven locations to my camping map at the end of the video. This is uh, Campendium, and uh, this particular campground this is Lake Stone Campground. It's a county park uh, in northwest Florida. And you can see here that it has won two uh, consecutive Campers' Choice Awards, which is a pretty good indication that this, this is a nice pump. And uh, the current rate at, uh, is $21 a night. This says $18 in the last Compendium review. But uh, um, again, the, the source uh, where I got these uh, ideas for a camping locations to put on my camping map, I had a more up-to-date review. So uh, it is $21 per night now, still very reasonable for electric and water hookups. And so uh, this campground has 77 sites. It has good cell service. And this is why I wanted to come and, and, and visit the Compendium site. Um, let's jump. To the map on Compendium. And over here, I'm a pro member, uh, which means I subscribe. It's, it's a very reasonable rate per year. I think I paid like $20. Um, I'd have to go back. It changes uh, every year. But for the paid up version of Compendium, uh, you get multiple different uh, premium uh, screening tools. And one of those is cell service. So let's just jump in here. The campground, let me back out here. The campground is located right in here. There it is. And you got to zoom in a little bit so you can see behind the dump station there. But it is here. The town of Centuries here. And this is the actual location, the peninsula where the campground's located. And this is the particular icon for the, uh, the campground on Campendium. But I use this tool a lot. 
this is AT&T cell service. Now, Melody and I have all three carriers. But this is one criteria. I don't want to be out there without any cell service. So I'll check to see uh, what the cell service is like for each of the carriers. And you could do all three at once. Or you could do each individually. And uh, this particular location has good cell service. I've determined that from the reviews, uh, both uh, on Campendium and elsewhere. And um, uh, also using this map overlay. So the map overlay tells me we have solid cell service for all three of these carriers. And so I can just clear this back out. But this is a useful tool that I use. You can also determine, use the public lands function for a different overlay. But um, I use the cell service overlay tool on Campendium a lot. And I wanted to point that out to you. So right now, uh, I'm going to jump to my personal camping map and show you why I put this on my personal camping map. Okay, folks, so this is my personal camping map. Let's zoom in on a Lake Stone campground. This is in northwest Florida. And uh, Melody and I have camped all around here. And uh, it integrates well with uh, some of the campgrounds that we have been to and that we want to go to. Uh, in this part of Florida and um, in uh, Alabama. This is real close to Alabama. In fact, uh, this is Lake Stone Campground right here. And it's right on the border, as you can see, with Alabama. But uh, what's near it? Well, you have, this is a real interesting area. Melody and I have been here. Um, this is a state forest campground, very reasonably priced, Bear Lake Campground. And that's a very interesting forest, lots of hiking. Um, there's a nice free campground. It even has hot showers and flush toilets, completely free. Um, it's big rig friendly. Uh, you need to know how to get in there. It's a wilderness landing park. We've done a video on it. It's in our Florida top 12 free camping video, overview video. Um, uh, there is, this is a favorite of ours. Um, we went there before we had the YouTube channel. We want to go back there. This is Fort Pickens, uh, right out on the Gulf of Mexico. It's a National Park Service run campground, but uh, really nice campground. They do have electric cookups there. Uh, these uh, are Henderson Beach State Park and Popsell Hill State Park. We want to go there. We have visited these places, but we haven't camped there. So that's why they're starred. I want to get in there. Uh, there's a Resort Parks International uh, where we can stay $10 a night. When we come through uh, off of the Interstate 10, often times we will. I can make reservations there uh, 60 days out using our Resort Parks International membership and stay there for $10 a night for a full hookup campsite. 10 bucks a night, you can't beat that. So anyhow, this, this campground is in a great part of uh, the country where there's lots to see and do around there. So uh, I like to have lots of tools in my toolbox, and that's why it made my camping map, as well as being reasonably priced, cheap RV campground. You can make reservations at this county park, and there's lots of the see and do in the local area. So that's why I made the map. So right now, we're going to go back to Google Earth and go to our next destination, folks. Okay, well, I don't want this video to be too long. So right now, we are flying out to Utah. And I'm going to be zipping through these uh, final six uh, free and cheap camping destinations that I've added to my camping map in 2023. And uh, this location is uh, on BLM land. This is called BLM 144 Dispersed Camping. Let me blow this out just a little bit for you. This is Highway 191. I'm going to go out just a little bit more. This is just north of, of Moab, Utah, folks. 
this is Interstate 70, and uh, down in here is Moab. So um, there, there, there is a lot to see and do in this camping area, um, and uh, it is a pretty area, and uh, again, you just want to get into your free campsite, get all set up, and then start exploring the local area. So um, I'm going to put up uh, some information that I gleaned from Compendium. There's grid coordinates on there. Um, this destination is listed on Compendium if you want to go there for more information. Um, and all these campsites that I'm showing you, the camping locations that I'm showing you in this video, you're going to be able to go to the resource uh, where I initially got them from. Uh, and again, I'll go over that with you at the end of the video. Right now, we're going to go to our next camping area, and this is going to be out in Colorado. This is the Kendall Campground, and it's located, again, I'm going to back out here for you. This is right outside of Silverton, Colorado. This is where you're going to be getting your cell service from. Again, great cell service. And uh, it is a stunningly beautiful area. Melody and I have not been here, but it's on our camping map now, and we want to go there. Eventually, you know, you wouldn't think you run out of time in retirement, but you do. And uh, we just can't get to all the places we want to go to as fast as we want to get there. So, but this is the Kendall Campground. And this is the Million Dollar Highway. Um, it looks like uh, U.S. Highway 550. They call it the Million Dollar Highway. Um, and there are actually two camping areas here. My preference is the uh, Kendall Campground. It's a little bit larger uh, campground. This is free camping on BLM land. And you can see this is a, a mineral creek going through here, and it's a very pretty creek. And uh, uh, lots of big rig friendly camping right there. If, if you can't find a space here, because this is a popular camping area, then there are other camping areas uh, in the area, just up the road is the Anvil Campground, and uh, it's also pretty, and you also have, uh, uh, you're close to the water there. You can see the water coming down here in Middle Creek. So it looks like uh, down here where Kendall is, you actually have a creek coming in here and a creek coming in here, and you have a Y right here. So very interesting piece of real estate at the Kendall Campground. So, uh, the next places we're going to go is out in California. So, let's fly out to California. This is on the eastern side of the Sierra Mountain Range. Uh, Melody and I have been to the eastern side of the Sierra. We went as, as far as uh, uh, Tuttle Creek Campground which is a BLM campground on, uh, uh, it's right off of the same highway. What is this? Two, 395. But look at this campground here. This is Crawley Lake Campground. Let me blow this out a little bit for you. Nice looking campground. And I like these campgrounds. Um, they're inexpensive. Uh, I'll have the price for you up on the screen. Uh, and you usually have some amenities to go with that. You're, you know, uh, maybe a picnic table, a fire ring. Um, uh, trash is a big plus. Uh, maybe a vault toilet. We don't mind paying a little bit of money because we, we get... We get the half off with Melody's Access Pass. Soon I will be getting half off with my senior National Parks Pass. Coming in at number three 
is also in Utah. This is Bees Lewis Flat Dispersed Camping Area. This is on Bureau of Land Management land uh, just outside of Capitol Reef National Park off of uh, Utah Highway uh, 24. And here's the camping area. Let me blow this out just a little bit for you. It's right outside of Torrey. I believe it's Torrey. Yeah, Torrey, Utah. So, uh, and it does have good cell service. You can see the town over in here. But uh, you're not fa far off this uh, nice paved highway, Highway 24. And uh, this also got great compendium reviews. And you, you're in close proximity to Capitol, Capitol Reef National Park. Um, so, uh, completely free, um, another area of the country that Melody and I have not been to, but it's on our camping map. Coming in at number two is Mountain View RV Park. This is going to be in Arizona. It's along, uh, Interstate 10. And, you know, Melody and I... When we go out west, especially in the winter time, we're traveling Interstate 10, and this is in the higher elevations of Arizona, so it can get cold here in the winter. And uh, so this is a this particular addition to our camping map will allow us to to stop and have full hookups for 20 bucks a night, folks. Now that's cheap RV camping. So, uh, Mountain View RV Park, yeah, look at this. Let me blow this out a little bit for you. Yeah, here's Interstate 10. Here's the exit, and here's Mountain View R RV Park. How sweet is that? Um... It also uh, gets good compendium reviews. It's an excellent travel spot and uh, stop if you're uh, going east or west on Interstate 10 going through Arizona. And that's why it's on our camping map, folks. Great cell service. Um, so, the next place we're going to go is a special place. I've saved the best for last. And coming in at number one. Is Rivers End Campground. This is in Colorado. Let's fly there right now. And this is a national forest campground. It has a water pump. Uh, there are no hookups. It's a dry camping, but they do have trash receptacles, um, neck table, fire ring. Uh, I believe they have a vault toilet. This is in a spectacular area, folks. Look at this terrain right here. This is the uh, Taylor Park Reservoir you see right here, and this is Rivers End Campground. Take a look at all those uh, sites. Isn't that nice? And what really makes this area, there is so much scenic beauty in this area. Um, we have good friends that have camped this area. Uh, Kyle and Michelle Shore of the Wandering Shores. And uh, they have a YouTube channel. Kyle has done a video, not on this uh, Rivers End Campground, but on the nearby uh, boondocking that's available. Free dispersed camping in the National Forest. Now let me jump to my camping map, show you the area. I'm going to show you a little clip that Kyle made. He made a whole video, but I'm going to show you a little clip from his video so you can see how gorgeous this place is. Let's jump to my personal camping map. So folks, this is my uh, personal camping map. You can see Denver, Colorado up here. And uh, the campground, this is Gunnison right here. And this is Almont. And I talked to Kyle, and this is uh, how he accessed uh, the area that we're talking about. This uh, Highway 742, Colorado, or, uh, actually I think it's a forest road, 742. 
but it's a good road. It's supposed to be big rig friendly. And uh, here's another campground, one mile campground that's on my campy map. But uh, the campground that we had talked about is clear up here at the uh, Taylor Park Reservoir. And this follows the water. This follows a, uh, I believe it's a river. Right, let's go in here and see what this is. The Taylor River. But this is an absolutely stunning, beautiful area. This uh, black symbol with the dollar sign, that is Rivers, Rivers End Campground, National Forest Campground. Uh, very reasonably priced camping. Um, I believe it's uh, $18. Uh, if you have a pass, it'll get you half off. It'd be 9 I think Compendium said it was 16 but uh, when I checked uh, uh, the last review, on a different website it had uh, said 19 so um half off that would be eight bucks a night so keep camping folks um right right next door and this is one of the uh locations that file had point points out in his video on free dispersed camping it's not where he camped but uh there's all kinds of free camping through here there is uh right off this um road 742 is this uh fr yeah forest road 742 c dispersed camping area and uh so that's on my camping map as well because it's right near so if you went up here and this is first come first serve on the national forest camping if you go up there there's not a site available uh, you you can also you can always uh, uh use the dispersed camping free dispersed camping as an alternate and anyhow that's on my camping map but right now when i cut to a clip from kyle's video on this area let me tell you kyle's the real deal folks he um uh, primarily camps for free on public lands and um uh, uh you don't get a lot of fluff in his videos. He gives you good information in his videos. I'm going to give you a short clip that uh, both shows you the scenery in this area, and I believe he's right at his campsite, and he shows you his campsite. Anyhow, let's cut to uh, this video clip from Kyle Shore of the Wandering Shores. So like we mentioned earlier, we've uh, been here at the Taylor Park Reservoir uh, boondocking area for about a week and thought I'd just show you kind of what our setup is. It's probably, without a doubt, one of the best boondocking spots we've had. So um, we came in on that road right there. Down probably no more than uh, 100 yards is kind of the main gravel road. We came up here and uh, this is our view. We're here with Norm and Sandy, as you guys will see here. Beautiful uh, view of the mountains. Um, got some tent campers and a uh, camper truck down there they actually just got here like yesterday uh, other than that and then we've got some friends well we don't know them but we get people across the way from us we actually uh, they came in like two days ago so other than that we've been out here by ourselves for about uh, five or six days so just thought I'd show you guys around I'll have a link to Kyle's video on Taylor Park Reservoir in the written video description on YouTube the uh what you're looking at now on your screen is uh our facebook group uh free and affordable rv camping in the usa is the name of the facebook group all seven of these uh free and cheap rv camping areas that i showed you in today's video uh they were brought to my attention by group members who made posts uh, showing pictures or video clips or uh, some some members have YouTube channels like Kyle um, and so this is where I got the ideas for uh, these seven camping locations that I placed on my camping map in 2023 
you know, it's nice to hear from people that have recently been to these camping locations. Uh, so I get a lot of ideas from uh, our Facebook group, Free and Affordable RV Camping in the USA. And if you want to join our Facebook group, Free and Affordable RV Camping in the USA, there will be a link in the written video description on YouTube. Hey folks, if you like this video, you're going to want to watch our video on the 8 best national parks on the cheap. There's a link to that video on your screen right now.